Hi, I'm Kevin from Gorilla Glue, and today I'm going to show you how to use Gorilla Epoxy. Gorilla Epoxies are extremely strong two-part adhesives that are great for your tough projects. The formulas are made up of two parts, a resin and a hardener, that when combined create a heavy-duty bond. Gorilla offers two premium epoxies, including the original Gorilla Epoxy that creates a strong, clear bond, and Gorilla Weld, a heavy-duty epoxy with incredible strength, up to 4,250 PSI. Gorilla Epoxy is available in an easy-to-use syringe, while Gorilla Weld is available in traditional two-part tubes. Both products set up quickly. Just follow these steps. First, make sure the surfaces of your project are clean, dry, and free from any grease or oil. For maximum bond strength on smooth surfaces, you may want to roughen up the surfaces with sandpaper before applying the epoxy. Next, you'll need a tray to mix the two parts. Gorilla Epoxy comes with a built-in tray, but you can also use other disposable household items such as paper plate or the bottom of a soda can. Once you have a tray ready, dispense the resin and hardener in equal parts. For the syringe, you will just need to remove the black cap and push down on the dispenser firmly and the epoxy will dispense in equal parts. For the tubes, use the cap to puncture the foil seal for first use. Next, using the wood stick provided or another mixing tool, mix the two parts for at least 20 seconds until they're completely combined. Within three minutes of dispensing, apply the adhesive to your project. Clamp surfaces together and leave undisturbed for 10 to 30 minutes. Full cure can take up to 24 hours. After use, wipe the tube or syringe tip clean with a dry cloth. Replace the cap and store in a cool, dry place. Gorilla All-Purpose Epoxy Stick is an incredibly strong and versatile epoxy putty. The hand-mixable, easy-to-use epoxy sets in just 10 minutes and works on most surfaces. Gorilla All-Purpose Epoxy Stick is waterproof, non-rusting, and once cured, it can be drilled, sanded, and painted. Make sure you wear disposable gloves to avoid skin contact. Remove the foil sticker and film wrapper and set aside for storage of any unused putty. For best results, rough and smooth surfaces with sandpaper before applying the putty. All surfaces should be clean and free of grease, oil, or other loose particles. Next, cut off the desired amount of the putty. Then mix by kneading the putty into a uniform color. This will take approximately 30 to 60 seconds. Putty will not harden completely if not mixed thoroughly. Finally, Apply the putty by firmly pressing to the project's surface within five minutes of mixing. Thanks for watching. Check back for more Gorilla Tough tips and other project ideas.